These paintings constitute the life's work of the Prague-born artist Gertrud Kaudas. Born in 1883 to an affluent Jewish family, she drew and painted mostly her friends and relatives. When the Nazis invaded in 1939, she ignored her family's pleas to flee. But later, fearing arrest, she smuggled the works to a close friend's house in a suburb of the Czech capital. Kaudas died sometime after May the 17th, 1942, the Nazi-run Majdanek concentration camp in Poland. Nearly 80 years later, as that same suburban house was being torn down, around 30 paintings tumbled out onto the head of a contractor. During the course of one day, 700 paintings and sketches were found. The property had been inherited by Jakub Sedlacek, a relative of Kauder's close friend, Natalia Jachudkova. <laughs> Tak tam přines i ze zadního pokoje a ještě od někud jinde množství tady těch obrazů, které byly schovaný, které byly ukrytý. A část těch obrazů jsem si nedokázal vysvětlit právě odkud jsou, ale bylo na nich zajímavé, že byly sejmutí z rámu. To znamená, že to byly obrazy, které někdo musel v takovém množství smudovat z rámu. A na tenhle okamžik si přesně pamatuju, že jsem říkal, že se musím s někým poradit, protože by bylo škoda tyhle ty obrazy dát pryč. A naštěstí jsem dobře udělal. Jahudková and Kaudas had met as students at Prague's Academy of Fine Arts. Sedlacek remembers being told about the paintings Kaudas entrusted to his relative. Zaujalo mě právě to, že si mluvil hlavně o věcech, že si ta paní Kaudas a ta rodina u ní nechala protože musela právě nastoupit patrně do koncentračního tábora. A to bylo něco, že počítala s tím, paní Kaudr, že až se vrátí, tak potom to dostane zpátky, to vrátí, ale potom už to nebylo komu vrátit. A tohle to bylo něco, co mě skutečně jako děcko, děcko zaujalo a nedokázala jsem tomu přesně rozumět. Natalia Jahudková died in 1977 and was buried near her former home. It remains a mystery why she never told anyone of the hidden treasure inside her house. Cowder's great niece, Miriam Cowder's, lives in New Zealand and had heard about her father's aunt Gertel, who had died in the Holocaust. She says family members were amazed to learn of the discovery and to see the pictures. I and the others, we love them, you know, and I was. I was searching for my father, you know, and there were these, these drawings like of my father and his father when my father was a boy that we'd never seen, you know, we'd never known um, our grandfather and and it was, it, it felt very close, you know, so there was the family side of it, but also just like, I'm not an art critic or far from it, but I loved the work, you know, I, I, I got a real sense of Gertel, it was, it was thrilling. Thrilling to see them. She says her late father found it difficult to talk about his aunt and the tragedy that befell her. Dad talked about her as a as a sweet person. Um, he spent quite a bit of time with her, but Dad didn't talk a lot about that time. And we knew she was that she painted, and we had some of her works, but we we had no idea of how serious an artist she was. Sedlacek and the Kaudas family are now hoping to donate the collection to a museum after a few personal paintings of family members have been picked out. Miriam Kaudas believes that if her father was still alive, he would be overwhelmed. I think he would see this work and just be blown away, you know, yeah. He would be very moved. Yeah, he would be very moved by them.